Hello viewers, this is Wagda Ronald taking you through this tutorial on all level physics and in today's lesson you are going to talk about the solutions of all level physics for UNEB 2019 and particularly that will be question 1 for paper 2. So here next array these constants will be used acceleration due to gravity 10 meters per second squared heat specific heat capacity of water 4200 joules per kilogram per kelvin specific heat capacity of copper 400 kilojoules per kilogram per kelvin specific land heat of fusion speed of sounding air and velocity of electromagnetic wave so all these ones are constants and they can be used where necessary now these are the very questions I left you with in the previous video and today we are going to talk about their solutions so that you can mark yourself. I believe by now you have already tried them out and you are ready to mark yourself and check your progress. So shall we begin with question 1a. 1a says, Roman 1, what is meant by energy? And that is one mark. Roman 2, state the principle of conservation of momentum and that is also one mark so let's first see how part a was answered so energy is the ability or capacity to do work so someone can say energy is the ability to do work or you can say energy is the capacity to do work everything all the two both are correct then Roman 2 they wanted us to state The principle of conservation of linear momentum. So shall say that the pri the principle of conservation of momentum states that when two bodies collide, total momentum just so not that word just before collision is equal to total momentum just after collision, provided there is no external force applied. So most students will get this last condition, but it is very necessary. There should not be any external force applied on the two bodies. So when you read that, that will be the answer for part A. Now let's see how marking can be done. Remember definition is a definition. So it has to be the whole statement has to be correct. So when you do that, that is one mark. And also the principle of conservation of momentum. If you read that with this condition there, that no external force is applied. That's when you can also get your full mark. Now we shall go to part B. Part B says that define Roman 1 potential energy and that is one mark and Roman 2 kinetic energy. So potential energy is the energy possessed by a body due to its position or state. You know that word position or state. That was Roman 1. R Roman 2, they wanted us to define kinetic energy. So we shall say kinetic energy is the energy possessed by the body due to its motion. I think consider the difference is this for potential energy, it depends on the position, and for kinetic energy, it depends on motion. So if you wrote that for Roman 1, that is one mark. And also, if you wrote this definition for Roman 2, that is also one mark. Now we shall go to part C. Part C says, explain the energy changes that take place when a generator running on petrol is used to generate electricity. And that is for max. So let's see how the four max can be got. So first of all, you have to say that chemical energy, so that word chemical energy is needed. So chemical energy in petrol is released as heat in combustion. Then after that you will say that the heat causes expansion of gases resulting in kinetic energy and sound energy. And lastly we shall say that the kinetic energy turns a dynamo to generate electric energy energy so basically that's what they wanted in this room and now let's see how marking can be done so this word chemical energy has to exist and that is half a mark 
then also heat has to exist combustion has to exist expansion of gases kinetic energy sound energy dynamo and lastly electric energy so that's how the four marks were awarded in this question now we shall go to part d part d says a block of mass four kilograms is released from rest at the top of a smooth plane five meters long and inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal as shown in figure one so this is figure one this is the block of mass four kilograms and it is inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal now they want us to find Roman 1 the change in potential energy when the block reaches the bottom of the plane and that is 3 marks then Roman 2 they want us to find the velocity of the mass at the bottom of the plane so let's begin with Roman 1 which says the change in potential energy when the block reaches the bottom so change in potential energy when the block is at this point first of all you have to realize that this block is at a certain height so what we need to do we have to first get that vertical height so for you to get that vertical height you have to get draw a right angled triangle from here to here from here vertically downwards from here this side so that forms a right angled triangle and because this angle 30 degrees is here it means that this will be the opposite and this will be the hypotenuse therefore we know that opposite and height over hypotenuse will be equal to sine this angle therefore shall come and say sine 30 degrees is equal to h over 5 and when i make h the subject by cross multiplying i'll come up with h being equal to 5 sine 30 degrees when i use a calculator i'll get my h as 2.5 meters so now that i've got height i can now come and get my potential change in potential energy now for this diagram when it's at this point this will be the reference point therefore this at this point there's no height height is zero therefore potential energy final potential energy at this point is zero and potential energy at this point is mgh where h is this vertical height so we shall come and say change in potential energy will be equal to the initial minus final which is mgh minus zero I know m is 4 which was the mass of the kilo mass of the particle which is this 4 kilogram mass then I also know that g is 10 remember and, and under our constants we say that g is taken out to be equal to 10 and my h I've already calculated it which is this and is 2.5 minus 0 so now when I use a calculator I'll come up with my change in potential energy as 100 juice now this unit has to be there juice and it's capital j now shall go to part roman 2 roman 2 says that find the velocity of the mass at the bottom of the plane so the velocity of the particle at this point you can use the principle of conservation of energy saying that the pot kinetic energy gained will be equal to the potential energy loss so the kinetic energy gained is given by a half mv squared so at this point the velocity of the particle is v that's why you use v squared initially it was at rest therefore the kinetic energy would be zero that's why here we there's nothing like minus because it, it will be minus zero now the potential energy loss will be equal to this which is the change in potential energy that's why you put here a hundred now from there we're going to substitute we know that m is 4 and therefore when i put my m here i'll come up with this expression now my aim is to make v the subject so what i'm going to do i first say half times 4 will give me 2 to get 2v squared is equal to 100 now when i take this to this side i'll divide both sides by 2 to come up with v squared being equal to 50 now for me to get v i'll have to get the square root of 50 and that square root of 50 is 7.0711 meters per second so basically that's what they wanted in roman 2 but there's also another alternative whereby we say that acceleration due to gravity is equal to the acceleration along the 
height. Remember, we know that acceleration acts vertical in a vertical direction. Therefore, because we know this height, this will act as our displacement, and acceleration of that particle will act will be the acceleration due to gravity. Therefore, when we use that, we can come and use a third equation of motion whereby v squared is equal to u squared plus 2gs now g is the acceleration due to gravity now when i substitute i'll come up with my v is what i want u was zero because it was initially traced two is there g is 10 from the constants s where is the height which is 2.5 now when i use the question and I simplify i'll come up with v squared being equal to 50 and when i get to make v the subject, I have to get the square root of 50. Now, the square root of 50 will be 7.0711 meters per second. So, basically, that's what they wanted. And now, let's see how marking can be done. So, first of all, the first mark will be for you to get this height. And the second half a mark for you to state the expression formula for change in potential energy then substitution also half a mark now this full mark will be for the answer magnitude half a mark for the magnitude and half a mark for the correct si unit so basically that's how the three marks could be got in roman one now for roman two for you have to know that kinetic energy gained is equal to potential energy lost for you to study this principle of conservation of energy you'll get your full mark the next is to substitute kinetic energy gained and potential energy lost. All of that, make getting the final answer, you also get your full mark. So that is if you use this alternative. But if you use this ex this part, you could also get your full mark for the stating the expression for third equation of motion under gravity. The next is to substitute and lastly to get the final answer with the correct unit so basically that's how the three marks could be got so whether i use this part this expression of principal conservation of energy or use this one you'll still get your full three marks so now we shall go to part e part e says i briefly describe one application of the law of conservation of momentum So one of the application is the rocket propulsion. So that is an application, but it told us to explain briefly. So shall say, hot gases rush out at high momentum, and the rocket moves in opposite direction. Remember, they told us to explain briefly. So another answer would be firing of a bullet. Remember. The bullet and the gun will acquire equal and opposite, equal and opposite momentum. And consequently, as the bullet moves forward, the gun moves backwards. Or oh, that's what they call recoiling of the gun. So any of the two, you could get your full mass. But also, you can also you explain the following. You can also explain the jet engine. You'll get your full mark if you explain them well. Then also explain the bow and arrow or the catapult. Any of the five, you could get your marks, provided they are well explained. Now let's see how marks can be awarded. So a full mark is given on the application. That is one mark. Then the other mark will be given on the explanation. So this and that, you get your two max then also alternatively if you use this a full mark is given on the application and another mark is given on the explanation so even when you do use this this will be one mark when you explain it they will give you another one mark if you use this that will be one mark explaining it will give you another one mark using this will give you be one mark and explaining it will be another one mark so basically that's how the two marks come about so any one application with explanation You'll be able to get yourself the two marks. So I believe by now you have marked yourself and checked your progress. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with another essay question 
so that for you you can try it out and check your progress further So that brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching and be reminded that the solutions the assignment I've left you with will be available in the next video tutorial. Otherwise, if you have not yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button below this video so that you'll be updated when the next when the video for these solutions has been released. And also, if you know or have any student who is not yet on this platform, please share this link with you, with other fellow students so that we can all excel as a family.